Kia ora YouTubers, my name is Dan and this video here is one of the free ones that I give away as part of my larger course. So if you are keen and you do enjoy it, uh, check out there'll be a link in the description. Uh, but for now let's uh, go off and look at the free stuff. Hi, in this video we're going to look at screen resolution versus our actual pixel size. So this can be a little confusing when you're starting, you're thinking, great, I'm going to do a mock-up for an iPhone 6. And you go off into Photoshop and you go, all right, here's the dimensions. You Google it and it says it's this pixel width by this pixel height. And you decide, all right, I'm going to make that. So I'm going to go into Photoshop. I'm going to make a new document. It's going to be 750 by this 1334 and you make it. Okay, you end up with this size here. Now this isn't the true size it's going to be. Okay, let's look back at that website here. We'll see that it's the CSS width that we really need to observe when we are designing for mobile. Because we all know that mobile phones, apart from a couple of them, are all very similar in size. Okay, but what will happen is it's this pixel ratio here. You can see when it is one to one that it is whatever physical size it is, it's the actual size of the screen here. There's no real density. And if you've seen an old iPhone 3, you'll notice that the graphics aren't great, but it's the physical same size as uh, an iPhone 6. But what happens is when you get this denser pixel ratio, the same physical size, we see it's doubled here, the actual pixels get a lot bigger, but the actual size of the phone is exactly the same. Okay, and you'll notice like say this LG G4, this one here has a pixel ratio of four. So it's quite a small phone, okay, same sort of sizes as the iPhone 6, but you can see it's hugely bigger in terms of its physical width. But if we have a look at it here in comparison with each other, they're actually not that different, okay? Slightly bigger, the iPhone 6 is slightly bigger, but not a huge big jump as in this indication here. So that can be quite confusing when you're new. The basics are is that when you're designing in Photoshop, designing for this physical size will give you the best representation of the actual phone rather than following these physical pixel widths over on this side here. Now, I love to share, so I made a few of these videos free. Of course, though, I'd love for you to go on and do my full course of over 50 videos. There's a discount code in the description. Please like and subscribe, and hide it, our good YouTube people. Now, I'm saluting and waving, but you can't see that, can you?